to know which one of these flagships is better, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So let's go. As you can see, both these phones have some incredible cameras, so you can get some great pics. Night mode on the S22 Ultra is so much brighter, it's more colorful and vibrant, Samsung takes it. Samsung also kills it with the normal and 100 times zoom. I mean, the difference here is massive. And when it comes to macro shots, iPhones can get closer to subjects, but Samsung's are still pretty great. What's so nice about both these phones is you actually get a ton of different modes to try out. So whether it's cinematic mode on the iPhone or pro mode on the Samsung, you definitely have something to choose from. The portrait selfies are also killer on the Samsung's 40 megapixel selfie camera, and it has much better edge detection. Your kind of standard pictures on both are perfect, but Samsung's are just slightly more saturated. And when it comes to video, Video, they're both great, but Samsung stabilization is better. So overall, I would have to say that Samsung take this one. Their camera system and software overall is just so good. By the way, make sure you stay till the end because I have some gift cards for some of my lucky subscribers. Okay, so both these phones have OLED displays, which is great, and as you can see, they look amazing. The Samsung does have a slightly curved display, whereas iPhones is completely flat. The S22 Ultra is also slightly bigger than the iPhone, and it does have a higher resolution. And it's no secret that Samsung rock at displays. Plus, the S22 Ultra is much brighter than the iPhone, so in direct sunlight like this, the S22 Ultra is much easier to see. They are both super fast, but in the in the end, I'd have to say Samsung takes this one. Now, when it comes to the battery, iPhone has the MagSafe option, which I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome. With this magnet paper, you can see just how many magnets are on the back of iPhone. And to be honest, I was really hoping Samsung was gonna do something similar to this on the S22 Ultra. But ultimately, they just kept the same wireless charging. And here you can see the difference between charging times. Samsung is about 10 minutes faster. Although the iPhone's battery is smaller, it's lasting about 20% longer than the S22 Ultra, and that's just a fact. So this one has to go to iPhone. Okay, if you love playing music and media on your phone, which one of these has better speakers? Believe it or not, I actually graduated in sound production, so I like to think I know a thing or two when it comes to the sound. So I did a bunch of tests with these bad boys against each other, and the iPhone sound is just incredible. They both have these top front-facing speakers, but because iPhones is bigger and more open like this, the sound quality is much better. They also both have a downward-facing speaker, and iPhones, again, is just so much clearer. So the S22 Ultra does have nice speakers, Speakers, but this one to me is an obvious win for iPhone. The sound quality just speaks volumes. So S Pen, Samsung has one, iPhone doesn't. That clearly means straight off the bat, Samsung takes this one because iPhone doesn't even compete. And with the S Pen comes so many cool features and things you can do with it that it's really hard to go back. But can you imagine Apple actually making one built into their phone that you could use at any time? I mean, damn Apple, catch up. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, then hit that sub button, because if you do, I'm just gonna be like. <laughs> So when it comes to the software, there is no doubt that iPhones is reliable, but Samsung, you can just do so much more with it and customize it like crazy, which actually does just make it feel better. For example, on Samsung's home screen, you can have any arrangement in the world, but iPhone just constantly restricts you and snaps the apps back into place. On the other hand, it does make moving a bunch of applications much easier than on the Samsung. So when it comes to the home screen, there are definitely pros and cons for both, but Samsung a bit more pros. The crazy thing is, with Samsung, you can have an always-on display, a custom lock screen, a custom call background, and split screen just about any app. And with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you get none of those. Absolutely nothing. Even though you'll probably get up to about six years of updates with the iPhone and only four with the Samsung, the fact is, you'll probably still be able to do more with the Samsung. So S22 Ultra takes this one. 
Now, this is something you don't really think about straight away, but is actually quite different in both these phones, and that is vibration. So when it comes to phone calls or alarms, the vibration is good but very different on both of them. But the biggest frustration has to be on the keyboard because iPhone doesn't have keyboard haptics. So this is super close but the fact that iPhone still to this day does not have keyboard haptics is so frustrating. Trust me. So Samsung take this one. Time to talk about the chipsets and the iPhone has an A15 Bionic chip whereas Samsung either has a Snapdragon or Exynos chip. Either way, they all have super fast performance and can definitely handle just about anything you throw at them, whether it's gaming, image editing or a bunch of applications open, but there will of course be some minor differences between all three. It kind of sucks that Samsung have two different chips and the fact is they're not exactly identical. And in some countries you'll get the Exynos, in other countries you'll get the Snapdragon, so you don't really get the choice. Both Samsung chips are also not as power efficient as iPhone's A15 Bionic chip, which means the iPhone definitely saves more on battery power. This one is so close, but if I absolutely had to pick one, it would have to be the iPhone. Now we gotta talk about some quickies and both these phones are water resistant. So whether you drop your phone in the bath or purposefully shower with it, you should be perfectly fine. The S22 Ultra is just water resistant up to 1.5 meters, whereas iPhone, six meters. So I think it's safe to say the 13 Pro Max definitely takes this one, but I'm glad they are both water resistant, that's for sure. Onto the unlocking options with both these phones and with Samsung, you can use your fingerprint, which is high security, a pattern, which is kind of medium level, security, face unlock which is nifty but not nearly secure as iPhone and finally the pin number. So that is four different options to choose from. With the iPhone you either get a pin which you know it's, it's not the best or you get face ID which is very secure but I mean four options is definitely better than two so Samsung takes this. When you take a look at the build and design of these phones I personally think they are both rocking and I will also say that the backs of these phones with that kind of satin finish is amazing because it does not pick up nearly as much fingerprints as most other phones. So they both win this one. As you may know, both these phones don't come with a charging brick anymore or a cover in the box. So bear in mind, the price for the phone now is just for the phone. Currently on Amazon in the States, the price for the S22 Ultra is $1,199 and the 13 Pro Max comes in $100 cheaper, so it wins this round, but not by much. So there you have it. I say, in my opinion, the Samsung S22 Ultra is the best phone of these two. But here's an interesting fact. Even though this may just be the best phone in the world right now, Apple just keeps dominating the smartphone market worldwide year after year after year. It's actually quite impressive. So if Samsung is making all the best phones, why is Apple making all the sales? You guys let me know. As mentioned, I have some gift cards for some of my lucky subscribers and with these you can download music, movies, games and all that jazz. And you guys know the drill, try out some of these codes. Yeah! Also, don't forget to check out these videos right over here and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!